there's the view from Camp 3, about 7,000 meters. Down the bolt, but <coughs> bolt <or. coughs> down there, space camp somewhere. Now, the head of the UN's leading panel on climate change says he won't resign despite false claims about the deterioration of the Himalayan glaciers. Rajendra Pachauri told the BBC that the mistake in a report some three years ago was human error and insisted that it didn't change the fact that the world's glaciers were indeed melting. Our environment correspondent, David Shukman, has the story. He's the UN's top climate scientist, Rajendra Pachauri, head of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC. Now under pressure because of research that turned out to be wrong. But tonight, he told us he was staying put. I want to tell the skeptics, I want to tell the vested interests who see me as the face and the voice of the science of climate change that I'm in no mood to oblige them. I'm going to remain chairman of the IPCC for my entire term. This is what the questions are all about, the glaciers of the Himalayas, and why the latest IPCC report described their fate not with well-established science, but an assertion from a campaign group that the likelihood of them disappearing by the year 2035, and perhaps sooner, is very high. A false claim that's new ammunition for critics of the IPCC. It is about the process with which it comes to its conclusions. It's the process. No one really understands how they pick and choose papers, how they emphasize certain problems, and how they exaggerate certain potential risks. That is at issue here. Further allegations focus on extreme weather and possible links to global warming. But tonight, the IPCC hit back, describing its tone as balanced, and that the section about this contains many important qualifiers. The findings of the IPCC are the starting point for all international debate about climate change, and the panel still enjoys the support of countries around the world. But tonight, the man who used to run it and now works for the government said although the basic science remains strong, people might not believe it. It is a drip-drip effect, and I'm very concerned because the evidence of climate change is extremely solid. There is, in my opinion, no doubt that we humans are causing climate change. But indeed, it is undermining the confidence of, indeed, the public and potentially some of the private sector and government. Less than three years ago, the IPCC report was heralded as the definitive guide on global warming, a claim that's now under closer scrutiny than ever. David Shrookman, BBC News.